So now that we've defined what buffer solutions are and how we can identify them, let's talk about how a buffer solution works. So let's take an arbitrary weak acid, which we'll call HA, which is in equilibrium with H plus plus A minus. A Ka of 1 times 10 to the minus 5 means we have a small K value, which means that the equilibrium is going to favor reactants. Okay, so we're not going very, very far forward here. Our Ka expression can be written as H plus, the concentration of H plus, times the concentration of A minus, divided by the concentration of HA. Remember, we want buffers to keep a constant pH, which depends on the H plus concentration. So let's rearrange this here as the H plus equal to the Ka times the constant of HA divided by the concentration of A minus. In this particular equation, Ka is a constant. So we're not going to be able to change that. So to maintain a constant pH, we want the change in the concentration of HA divided by A minus to be very, very small. So the ratio of HA to H minus, we want to be as close to 1 as possible. So let's look at two scenarios here. The first scenario would be to add a strong acid. So any H plus ions added to the solution will interact with the A minus ions and, and shift this equilibrium back to the left. Okay, so if we increase our, our particular H plus, equilibrium can shift over to the left. So if we have H plus plus A minus, what's going to happen is that's going to shift forward to form HA ions. And our Ka prime is going to equal 1 times 10 to the fifth, which is the equal the reciprocal of our initial Ka. So that means this equilibrium is going to lie over here to the right, which is the way I've, I've, I've shown this. So as we increase the concentration of HA, our concentration of A minus is going to drop. So that means our delta HA divided by A minus is small, which is exactly what we needed here. So if this is small, we're going to see a small change in the pH because A minus will neutralize the H plus. All right. So that's the effect of, of adding a strong acid. What about adding a strong base because we need our buffer to not only resist changes due to adding a strong acid we need it to resist changes upon adding a strong base so here if we have OH minus if we add that to HA the particular equilibrium that we're going to observe would be water plus A minus and that equilibrium is going to shift very, very forward to the right. So what happens here is we're going to see a drop in concentration of HA. And at the same time, we're going to see a rise in concentration of A minus. So in this case, our delta HA divided by A minus is also small. And that means we're going to see a small change in pH because HA will neutralize OH minus. So in each of these cases, 
we can see that by adding a strong acid or adding a strong base, the, we will see neutralization. Okay, it's for different reasons in each case, but in both cases, the added H plus or the added OH minus will be neutralized and we will see small changes in the pH.